Mendocino County has a long history of involvement with the movies. Starting with a 1904 Casper Lumber Company actuality dock, this unsuspecting corner of Northern California has become the backdrop of over 50 major motion pictures and over 30 television episodes and series. From this extensive list, we've chosen the top 10, according to critics, to talk about today. Coming in at number 10, our first film is Stephen King's Cujo, filmed in Mendocino and Fort Bragg in 1982. It's one of the many horror flicks filmed in the county, whose foggy coastline seems to be the perfect set for dozens of horror movies. Mendocino became the infamous town of Castle Rock, Maine, in a movie that stars Dee Wallace, best known for playing the mother in E.T., this time protecting her son from a rabid St. Bernard. The Molnar Mansion in Mendocino had a 100-foot by 26-foot facade constructed over it, designed to replicate the Nielsen Mansion in Santa Rosa, where most of the interiors were shot. Production lasted 10 days during October 1982, but was cut short due to weather. The production crew had planned a fireworks display that had to be cancelled due to heavy fog and difficulty with obtaining fireworks. They had planned on either scrapping the scene or filming it in Santa Rosa, and the lack of a fireworks scene in the finished film suggests that they did indeed scrap it. Despite somewhat mixed reviews, Stephen King has called Cujo terrific and one of his favorite adaptations. Our next movie is an even more chilling horror film, 1981's Dead and Buried. This creepy tale was shot on Portuguese and Casper Beach and throughout downtown Mendocino, which underwent quite a bit of set dressing. This gory mystery zombie thriller is not for the faint of heart and offers genuine scares among familiar scenery. Number 8 on our list is the bizarre but entertaining supernatural comedy, The Spirit is Willing. This 1967 ride really lets its age show. It's an extremely 60s picture, starring Sid Caesar as the father of a vacationing family visiting the once again New England-ified Mendocino, while being haunted by a ghostly love triangle. The film's humor is incredibly zany and morbid, but ocean views, as well as Lansing Street, Heaser Drive, and the main street of Mendocino can be seen in the background of many scenes as all local footage was only used for exteriors. The effects, while not state-of-the-art, are certainly passable, and their tackiness adds to the film's campy charms. Number 7 on our list is also set in New England, this time in the 1940s. This coming-of-age romance, The Summer of 42, was directed by Robert Mulligan, best known for directing the classic To Kill a Mockingbird. The film was shot entirely on location in Mendocino, and the 1942 setting meant that all TV antennas, late model cars, and modern clothing had to be removed, so Mendocino residents were asked to supply 40s-era vehicles, as well as cooperate by allowing their TV antennas to be removed at the promise of replacing any rusted or worn parts. Additionally, about 400 local extras were recruited for the film. The Mendocino water tower became a filming platform from which the camera could capture the young stars all throughout Mendocino, and many beach scenes were shot at Ten Mile Beach in Fort Bragg. While the coming-of-age portion of the film is charming enough, and the young actors are regarded as having really captured the experience of being a teen boy at the time, in their naivety, confidence, and the trials of their friendship. However, it's the romance portion of the film that turns questionable, the pairing being between 14-year-old protagonist Hermie and Dorothy, a married woman in her 20s whose husband has gone off to fight in the war. The romanticization of their relationship may turn a few stomachs, but the rest of the film does offer a generally charming and nostalgic picture of youth among quaint small-town coastal scenery. And while we're on the topic of World War II coming-of-age romances, it's time for our first honorable mention, Racing with the Moon. This 1983 romance has an incredibly star-studded young cast. The protagonist Hopper is played by Sean Penn, and his best friend Nikki by Nicolas Cage. It also features Elizabeth McGovern, and a small role by Crispin Glover, best known as George McFly from the Back to the Future series. The plot follows the two teams during their last six weeks before they're shipped off to fight in the U.S. Marine Corps. One part heavy coming-of-age period piece, one part whirlwind summer romance. Racing with the Moon covers a lot of ground, some of it better than others. Like Summer of 42, Racing with the Moon's 1940s era time period meant a need for Fort Bragg to undergo an elaborate transformation. The Green Parrot, an ice cream parlor founded in 1929, was brought back to its 1940s days, while across the street a movie theater facade was constructed. Plenty of 40s-era vehicles and costumes completed the transformation. 
The film was also responsible in part for the refurbishment of the famous skunk train, which plays a central role in the film. Additionally, the filmmakers donated about $400,000 to the Mendocino County Libraries and School District. Tony Lemos, the county's Coast Film Coordinator for over 30 years, recalled upon meeting the young Penn that she had strangely experienced the same feeling as when she had met the young James Dean. Two Academy Awards and dozens of films later, Lemos's first impression of Penn seems to have been accurate. Before we finish talking about historical coastal romances, we have to briefly mention 2001's The Majestic. Jumping ahead a few years, Jim Carrey plays a 1951 Hollywood screenwriter who, after being suspected of being a communist, experiences an accident that leaves him in a small town with amnesia, where he's recognized as a missing-in-action World War II veteran. Romance and heartbreak unfold amidst picturesque coastal scenery, especially the Point Cabrillo Lighthouse and Big River Beach. Number six is another horror classic. The only film on this list filmed inland in the city of Ukiah. 1978's Magic. This psychological murder thriller stars Anthony Hopkins as a ventriloquist in a film that is first and foremost an intimate, sensitive, and finally tragic love story. If Mendocino and Fort Bragg seem unable to escape going east coast in the movies, Inland Ukiah is no different. In Magic, it acts as upstate New York. The film contains plenty of scares, spooky atmosphere in part provided by the Ukiah Cemetery. Pomelito Middle School also makes a cameo during the campus's last year as Ukiah High School. It transitioned to its current Logat Road campus a few months later for the 1978-79 school year. Another interesting setting, while outside of the scope of Mendocino County, is our neighbor Lake County's Blue Lakes, where most of the film was shot. Coming in at number five is the true Hollywood classic, East of Eden, based on the novel regarded by John Steinbeck as his magnum opus. However, it's better known as James Dean's first major movie role, famous for being one of the three films the legendary actor starred in during his tragically short life. It was also the only one he lived to see released. James Dean's famous performance as Cal Trask begins on Main Street of Mendocino, here known as 1917 Monterey. In this opening scene, Dean can be seen following a woman as she enters a bank, now the out-of-this-world shop, and continuing through town to the home of Mendocino resident Dr. Preston, now the Mendocino Art Center, which was used in the film as the home of Cal's mother. Dr. Preston was ill and confined to his upstairs bedroom during filming, and told the production crew that if he died, filming was to continue. He did pass away during production, and filming was suspended for one day in his honor. Men trained for war in the old Mendocino High School gym, which burned down in 1984, and Dean can be seen jumping around the school locker room as well. During production, Dean reportedly got close with a few residents, going fishing multiple times with locals between shoots while staying at the Little River Inn with the rest of the cast which included Julie Harris, Raymond Massey, Burl Ives, and Joe Van Fleet. Number three, the Russians are coming, the Russians are coming. The 1966 Cold War comedy gem Russians, as it's often referred as, is a favorite among Mendocino residents, many of whom were extras during the three months the production crew spent filming there. Besides plenty of laughs, Russians offers many beautiful long takes of Mendocino and its coast, weaving iconic geography with hilarious hijinks. Once again, Mendocino poses as a small New England fishing town, this time the quaint Gloucester Island. The plot revolves around a group of Russian soldiers whose submarine has accidentally run aground as they run around the island, trying to escape while avoiding World War III. The 140-foot submarine also sneaks around the coast before its climactic arrival in Noyo Harbor. Much of the film also takes place at the Whitaker House, built especially for the film, and reported to have walls which may be moved at will, a staircase leading to nothing, and ceilings that are open rafters where Klieg lights were placed as well as cameras as the need arose. The house was intentionally burnt to the ground after production when it was decided to be too expensive to dismantle. Another production fun fact is that due to Mendocino being on the west rather than the east coast, the dawn sunrise scenes actually had to be filmed at sunset. This wacky and thoughtful film offers lots of laughs, as well as some truly beautiful cinematography. In second place, according to critics, is the 1947 drama Johnny Belinda. Like Russians, Fort Bragg is dressed as a small East Coast fishing town, however this time it's on the East Coast of Canada. 
This gripping drama focuses on the relationship between the deaf mute Belinda, played by Jane Wyman, whose performance won her an Academy Award for Best Actress, and Dr. Richardson, played by Lou Ayers, who befriends her as he teaches her sign language. The conflict of the film comes from the horrific rape of Belinda that results in her pregnancy and the birth of her son Johnny Belinda. It was the first Hollywood film allowed by the Motion Picture Production Code to involve these subjects. However, most coastal excitement came from the casting of local Fort Bragg baby, Robert Allen Anderson, as the titular Johnny Belinda. Robert Anderson even traveled to Hollywood to complete additional scenes. Cameraman for John Belinda, Ted McCord, would return to the county in 1954 as head cameraman of East of Eden, another Warner Brothers picture. The Strauss House on Chapman's Point was used during the film as the home of Dr. Richardson. One hair-raising incident during filming was recorded in the Fort Bragg Advocate, describing a scene involving Jane Wyman and Lou Ayers in a horse-drawn buggy that was being shot from a helicopter, the noise of which startled the horses, causing them to bolt towards the edge of a nearby cliff before two assistant directors were able to bring them to a stop. Finally, the highest-rated film shot in Mendocino County is yet another horror film, 1944's The Uninvited. This chilling classic involves a haunted mansion on the coast, this time of England. This isn't the only time Mendocino has gone British. That same year, Paramount also released the swashbuckling adventure romance, Frenchman's Creek. The film's budget of $3.6 million, Paramount's most expensive production at the time, allowed for its notably lavish period costumes and a Cornish castle constructed south of Little River for the film, with a small chapel that residents found so beautiful that a real wedding took place there during production. Most famous, however, is the pirate ship that sailed the Albion River and was deemed too expensive to remove, leading the production crew to simply leave it in the river, where it would still be to this day if it had not tragically met the same fate as the Whitaker House from Russians. It was set fire and sunk, this time not intentionally, but by vandals. The film is regarded as a bit of a not-too-compelling melodrama, but contains a few beautiful coastal shots among big-budget sets. Like fellow ghostly picture The Spirit is Willing, only exterior shots of the elk headlands were used for The Uninvited, seen often in the background and through windows, creating an appropriately mysterious coastal atmosphere. Reportedly, the stars never came to Mendocino County, and the only record of production comes in the form of a short Mendocino Beacon article, dated April 10, 1943, that describes a troop of movie people from Paramount Pictures that had passed through Casper and Elk and were headed for Fort Ross. The article notes that their footage is for a picture supposed to be taken on the English coast. Coast historian Bruce Levine has suggested that the troop was on a scouting mission for Frenchman's Creek, which shot a few months later, and was another Paramount picture set on the English coast, and that Paramount simply decided to use the footage as exteriors for The Uninvited. Besides its status as a horror classic, The Uninvited is also famous for its soundtrack, which contained Stella by Starlight, now a jazz staple. From horror to romance to drama, Mendocino County has provided the atmosphere for dozens of movies and TV shows over the years. Always recognizable and always beautiful, Mendocino County is sure to host many major motion pictures to come.